Hello everyone, welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Are you ready for another day of working on your story? Remember the story? Oh yes, the mean monkey. Oh my goodness. Remember, yeah. The writing, the pictures, and the like. Okay, so do you have it out? Is it, do you have it right there? Is it right there? Let me see. Oh, I can see this. Oh, I can see this. That's great. Do you have paper just in case you want to write down today's assignment? Oh, you have paper out and a pen or a pencil. Fantastic. You are ready to start today's class. It'll be a short session. I know you're excited to work on that story. Okay, so last class time, I had you start the story, didn't I? Now remember, remember to use the information that you wrote down, okay, about the characters, you have the character names, maybe something about them, if they're grumpy, okay, or always smiling, about the setting, in other words, where will it take place? When will it take place? In the wintertime? In the summer, August, in Phoenix? Okay. Also, about the conflict, namely the problem. What is the problem? It is not, folks, it is not a story if you don't have a conflict, a problem. If you don't have one, then you have one of those manuals, those big books or pamphlets to figure out how to use your new computer. You know, yeah, how to use the computer. Yeah, it's a manual. How to manual. Yeah, how to use. Uh -huh. And you don't want to do that. You want an exciting story. Just like that example one that I keep showing you about the grumpy monkey. Yeah, there was a problem. It was taken care of. So don't forget, today, make sure that you take care of the problem. Did you take care of the problem between these two? They look like they're very happy now, don't they? At first, they didn't like each other. The doggy was sneaky, you know, a little hiding behind the cat and going, Rah! and the cat would go, Rah! and look at them now. They're buddies. See how that works? What a fantastic story. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And also, don't forget, what is the theme? What is the point of your story? Okay. You can see what the point would be here. They may not like each other. You know, one's a dog, one's a cat. And usually we say, oh, they don't like each other. No, you can't have the two together. I can't have both. Yeah, they like each other. Look at them. The point is, yeah, they may be different, but they can still like each other. See, they are buddies. They are friends. So does that make sense? So yes, you're going, Miss Faust, that means we get to finish today? Yes, today is the day to finish. No, you're not doing the final book yet. You are still working on the sheets in the book. Okay, so when you turn in what you did today, don't forget, I want to see some of those pages. You're doing at least five to eight. But if you're finding that you're already on page eight and you're nowhere to finishing, that is fine. After all, we're talking more than five pages here. Does it two, three, four, five, what? There's more? Six, seven, eight, nine, oh my gosh, ten, eleven. And they played and played throughout the day. Hooray! There you go. But five to eight gives you something to work with. So don't forget again, you don't write a lot, do you? Okay? You don't write a lot. But it should still come out to be a story. Yes, a short story. Shorter than Ernest Hemingway's A Very Short Story. 
Okay, so let's get the board out. Woo! So do you understand what I want to see for today? I want to see the rest, but it's not the final book. You don't have the covers and the back, the front, and all that yet. Okay, we'll worry about that next time. Okay, let me get my marker, my board. So, as I said, we're talking creativity time. In other words, we're being very artsy. Craftsy! Day three, story writing. So, your assignment for today is finish working on the story. The writing part only. You're just doing the writing part. Nothing else. Okay, no pictures, nothing. Yes, you can start thinking what kind of picture you want for each page. Is That's great. But I need you to finish your story today. Which means, folks, at this point you have your characters. You have your setting. In other words, the place, the time. You should have, yes, your problem. You should be what? Solving the problem. Fixing whatever problem as these two fellers did. Okay? That's what you need to do today. Make sure you do that. And make sure that when you finish your story, you can go back and go, yes, the point of my story is boop, 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 boop. Okay? Alright, so that's what you need to do today. So yes, finish writing it. Use simple language. I'm not looking for you to go out and get a dictionary and come up with big words and you have, you know, you're sprinkling the words around here, word, a beginning word. No, no. Just do it again. Listen. The ending here. And they played and played throughout the day. Hooray! Simple. I love it. Okay. Make it simple. So, again, let's go over this. Make sure you have a conflict and that you solve it, that you fix the problem, okay? And that you have a theme, namely, what is the point of your story? I don't want to have to guess it. I think he's talking about uh, the friendship. I'm not quite sure, okay? So, make sure we have this. Any questions about the assignment? That's your assignment for today. You finished that wonderful book. You know, I'm, I can't wait to see the final book. To see that final, final book with the front cover, the back cover, and oh my goodness, wonderful pictures. Again, you do not have to be into art. It's okay. I don't mind a stick figure. But I want to see some pictures and color. Yes, use colors, please. Not today. This is for today. So finish writing. Any questions and focus here. Any questions about your assignment? Okay. I can't leave you today without your daily question. One moment. Here we are. So, have you ever gone to the Arizona State Fair? Have you ever had the pleasure of going there? Okay. Yes, Arizona State Fair. The rides, the food, the concerts. Woo! The noise. The people everywhere. Have you ever gone to the Arizona State Fair? Okay. If you have any questions, folks, you know how to reach me. Please contact me if you're not sure of what to do. That is why I'm here. I'm here to help you. Okay? So remember, when you're done with those pages, in other words, with the end of your story, make sure that you send them off to me so I can see them. Okay, and don't forget that question. One moment, let me check my plans for next class to make sure we're not forgetting anything. Yes, so that's it for today, folks. That's it. Just worry about, you're just doing the draft, the copy. 
So you can make mistakes, it's okay. But I need to see what you have, okay? I need to see what we call uh, the wrap up, the finished part of the story, the wrap up of the story, okay? Okay, I think we're done today. These two fellers are happy in their little story. Oh, by the way, the story is called Friendship. Not, eh, it's okay. It's okay, the title. I do wish you a fantastic day. Oh, let it be a fun one. Enjoy, as I said before, enjoy your story. Remember, you are becoming writers. Okay. Till next time. Bye-bye.